Ever thought about your kidneys? Probably not, but these two little bean-shaped organs are your body's superstar cleaners. They filter out all the gunk, balance your system, and even manage your blood pressure. But what happens when they stop working? You're faced with a life-altering choice, dialysis or a kidney transplant. Let's break down what that really means. First up, dialysis. Think of it as an artificial kidney. It's a process that cleans your blood when your own kidneys can't. There are two main types. Hemodialysis is what most people picture. You go to a clinic, get hooked up to a machine for a few hours several times a week, and it filters your blood for you. Then there's peritoneal dialysis, which you can often do at home. It uses the lining of your own belly as a natural filter. So what are the pros of dialysis? The biggest one is availability. It's a lifesaver that's ready to go when you need it. No waiting for a donor. But the downsides are significant. It's a massive time commitment. Imagine spending 12 hours a week tied to a machine. The process can leave you feeling drained and tired, and it comes with strict dietary restrictions. Plus, dialysis is only a partial fix. It cleans your blood, but it can't do everything a healthy kidney does, like regulate certain hormones. Now let's talk about a kidney transplant. This is a major surgery where a healthy kidney from a donor, either living or deceased, is placed into your body. The goal? To restore almost all of your original kidney function. The upside is huge. A much better quality of life. We're talking more energy, fewer dietary rules, and the freedom to travel and live without being tied to a machine. On average, a successful transplant can add years, even decades, to your life compared to staying on dialysis. But a transplant isn't a simple fix. First, you need a donor, and the waiting list can be incredibly long. The surgery itself has risks like infection or bleeding. And after the transplant, you have to take powerful immunosuppressant drugs for the rest of your life to stop your body from rejecting the new organ. These drugs make you more vulnerable to other illnesses. So which is better? There's no single answer. Dialysis is a bridge. It keeps you alive while you wait for a transplant or if a transplant isn't an option. A transplant offers a chance at a more normal life, but it comes with its own set of serious challenges. The choice depends on your health, your lifestyle, and what's most important to you. It's a deeply personal journey, navigating the trade-offs between a life of strict schedules and one of medical vigilance.